Hello everyone, this is Shannon from Not So Po, and today I'm doing a review of the poetry collection Paluda by Melissa Lozada Oliva, who is a Guatemalan Colombian American, and this poetry collection really explores sort of feminist Latinx identity in just such a powerful and amusing and really just impactful way. I loved this poetry collection so much. So I want to share with you some of the very many different things about it that really spoke to me. First, I loved how approachable these poems were. Often with poetry, you have so much abstraction that it's very hard to kind of sink your teeth into it. It's very slippery and hard to grasp. But I think that these poems had all of the beauty and rhythm of poetry while also being something that I really was able to understand and to make sense of. And I loved that ability of Lozada Oliva to create such powerful emotional poems while also making them something that just felt very within my grasp. Another thing I loved about this collection was how funny it was. There was so much humor in these poems. I think that Lozada Oliva has this way of expressing so much of kind of her anger or her frustration or her pain while also acknowledging the humor in the situation. It's this almost sort of self-deprecating humor that recognizes both the absurdity of everything that's going on as well as really acknowledges the kind of emotions that underlie it. And it made these poems just so enjoyable to read. Um, as an example, in her poem, Ode to Brown Girls with Bangs, she has the lines, you, not riot girl, but rolling all of your R's. Less Betty Page, more Betty Le Faire. One of the big themes that ran throughout this poetry collection that I really, really liked was that of body image, especially related to hairiness. Given that the title of the poetry collection, Peluda, means hairy one, that's kind of to be expected, but oh, it was so powerful. Um, there's so many poems in this that really talk about her image of her body and this acknowledgement of sort of a feminist awakening where you shouldn't care and yet you still do care. There's so much in here about body image. Um, for example, there's a poem, My Hair Stays on Your Pillow, like a question mark, that is all about her white roommate being grossed out by, you know, pieces of hair that are in the room. Um, and she just sort of imagines her hair as this post-apocalyptic monster that is terrifying. And it's just this ridiculousness acknowledging of this aspect of her body and and the way that it's seen by others. Also, in the poem, we play Would You Rather at the Galentine's Day party. This is another one that really contrasts the way that people see their bodies. Um, in this, she's playing a game with a group of friends and asks, would you rather be completely covered in fur or not have, you know, any unwanted body hair, but you have a tail. And all of the, like, it sounds like white women are like, oh, you know, I'm a feminist and of course, you know, I should accept my body hair. Um, but the other girl in the group who has like really thick eyebrows is like, what kind of tail? And it's just this acknowledgement of hairiness, this acknowledgement of kind of unwanted attributes of body while still recognizing that that desire to be rid of that is also in some ways really problematic. I just loved that complexity of the exploration of body image. Another theme in this collection was that of the relationship with her mother. And I think this is a really interesting and complex one that relates to the hairiness as well because her mother is a beautician. Her mother is somebody who is an immigrant from another country, who is somebody who's learning English and working really hard and running her own business. And there's so many admirable traits about that, but she's also somebody who waxes off hair as a living and who makes Lozada Oliva wax off her own hair and sort of perpetuates this idea of conforming to society and so there's all of this admiration for her mother while also these conflicted emotions about kind of the expectations that her mother has for her it's a very interesting dynamic and i really liked reading the poems about that 
And the last theme that just really spoke to me was that of Lozada Oliva as a second generation American, somebody who is caught in between this sort of assimilation into American culture, but also feeling the pull towards her Latinx heritage. Somebody who feels that desire to be like everybody else, to be acceptable in a lot of ways, but also feels the resentment of not being as connected to her heritage as she'd like to be or not being able to celebrate it, being forced in so many ways to feel shame for it, um, to feel the need to get rid of it, sort of in the way that you wax off this unwanted body hair. There's so many parallels in this. I think it's such an aptly named uh, poetry collection. Um, some of the uh, poems that really talked about this that I loved were Yosra Strings Off My Mustache, Two Days After the Election in a Harvard Square Bathroom. It has some really powerful lines. I think of what the most Guatemalan Colombian thing I've ever done is, and maybe it's grow. I think about the most American thing we've ever done, and it's hide in this bathroom. I think about the most womanly thing we've ever done, and it's live anyway. It's so powerful. Um, another one that I really, really liked, because it's about language so much, uh, is called, You know how to say arroz con pollo, but not what you are. And in it, it has the lines, If you ask me if I'm fluent, I will tell you that my Spanish is a puzzle, left in the rain too soggy to make its parts fit together so that it can look just like the picture on the box. And it's just so moving to me, this, this feeling of being a misfit in so many ways as second generation um, immigrant. And it's just such a powerful set of poems examining that identity. Overall, I think that this poetry collection is just fantastic. I really loved all of the emotion, the anger and the pain and the humor and the love. There's so much in this, just what I want out of a poetry collection to make me feel. And I loved the writing style and I loved the themes that it explored. This was just an outstanding poetry collection for me. So if you enjoy feminist poetry that is about especially um, kind of cultural identity and about body image, about relationships, I think that this is such a good one to pick up. If you have read this poetry collection or you have read anything else that is really about these sorts of themes, I'd love to hear from you. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below about anything you'd like to talk about.